So here your saucer passes, Lauren. And what I notice here is that your stick blade on your follow through is not quite parallel to the ice. And that's why the puck is kind of flopping as it goes over. You want the puck to land flat. See how it's just flopping there? So turn your stick blade so that it's parallel to the ice. Look at Tyler's stick as he follows through. His stick blade is parallel to the ice surface. And that's, what's, that, that's a function of getting your hands a little bit farther away from your body. Here's your backhand saucer. I like to see you get your knees bent a lot deeper here. And same thing. That was actually a pretty good one right there. You want to make sure that stick blade is parallel to the ice. The puck starts around your heel and get those hands a little bit farther away from your body, especially your top hand here. That's a pretty good job actually right now, but I like to see that puck land a little bit flatter. Here we have some flow drills. We have you um, just doing tight turns, skating and handling a puck at the same time. What I'd like to see here on your tight turns, your cutbacks, is more use of your outside edges and sharper turns. So that's where you simply want to drive off of that outside edge a little bit sharper and cut back more as like, like, like what we say, cutting back on a dime. Here's good use of the open hip. Your hands are in good position, collecting the passes here. Right here, perfect job opening up. Again, I like to see a little bit deeper knee bend, especially on that right knee. And here's your stick handling and your what we call a power move. You're doing a pretty good job here, except they like to see explode and accelerate harder as you make that move and get around that net. As you know, the net represents an opposing player. So right here, for example, feet weren't wide enough there and your, your direction was very predictable. We want to be able to be more deceptive. That's why you want to attack with both feet pointing at the opponent. So here we are working on it right now, getting you to get back on your heels, this way you can, you can go any direction you want, left or right, without being predictable. So here you're trying it. Not bad, again, just a little bit more acceleration coming out of that turn, out of that move. Here you do a much better job, slowing it down a little bit, and I think you did a great job there. Good fake. Now accelerate. I'd like to see that again, more explosive. Like that was good, but there's no puck being used there. Now here's some more transition with the puck. Trying to simplify and underhandle. You're doing a good job here. Touching the puck to yourself in a tight turn. Again, a little bit tighter. You want to come right back to the same spot you started from on your turn. So as soon as you make your turn, you're heading right back directly. Right there, you're a little bit too wide. So again, just a much tighter turn we'd like to see there. But overall, a pretty good job. Good hand position and good touch with the puck. You're doing a great job there. There you go, Lord. And here you've got good hand position when you're passing. You're able to keep your head up at all times, which is, which is key. You can see your teammates, see your opponents, and see the puck at the same time. And your transition going from forward to backwards is coming up right here. I'll show you in a second. I'd like to see your knees bent a lot deeper so you can get more explosion going backwards. So watch right here as you're coming up the ice. Okay, right here. Here, you want to see that knee bent deeper so you can explode back faster. All right, so that's, that's really all I see there is a much better knee bend is required. Might see it again here as you're coming up right there. A little bit deeper knee bend. It's a good stop. You want to see the knees bent deeper so you can explode back and get back a little bit faster. Okay, great hand position, very good pass. You want to see your passes a little bit firmer. Okay, a little, little more velocity on your passes here. Okay, a little bit more explosion on that backward crossover, even, even though we don't recommend too much of the backward crossovers, especially when you expect to get the puck. You want to see you simplify things. So right here, doing a good job. Again, deeper knees. So I want to see you in a ready position at all times. As you, as you pass the puck, you're kind of straightening up. I want to see you in a ready position at all times, expecting that puck. You don't want to develop any of those bad habits that will creep into your game. So right here, knees bend deep, and a good firm pass. So the puck stays flat and it travels and it almost spins towards your target.
Get a little firmer base with your legs here. Again, feel your legs are straight there. Want to see your knees bent at all times. Really deep knee bend is what we want to, want to see right here. Just too straight at this point. So you do a good job uh, collecting the puck. Your head stays up, looking at your target. You're doing a phenomenal job there. But again, knees bent much deeper. Get used to getting those knees bent. I would almost want to see at 90 degrees if you can get there, just for practice purposes. So here we are, just some puck handling. Looking for, a, this is 180 degree range of motion. You're doing a great job here, and it's all because your hands are in good position. Go back to some passing. This is our, our sweep pass, our sweep pattern. Again, doing a great job here. Hands are in very good position. I like the way you keep your head up. I like to see you follow through a little bit more with that bottom hand. Maybe even keep your, maybe your bottom hand should be a bit closer to your top hand here. But again, generally speaking, your hands are in very good position. Again, deeper knee bend. Really get used to getting those knees bent deeper. Now, as you see here, you catch the pass. Your stick's on your front foot. You do a great job. And you're bringing the puck back to just inside your back foot. Notice your head's up the whole time and your eyes are up. That's excellent. That's what we're looking for when it comes to passing and receiving. See right there, your head dipped a little bit. But for the most part, your head's up the whole time. That's excellent. And as a result, you're moving the puck a lot quicker. The puck's getting off your stick a lot quicker, which is going to make you play this game faster. Just some quick hands here. You're doing a great job pumping your feet, handling the puck. Excellent job. And back to passing. Same thing here, as I said before, just a deeper knee bend. Everything about your passing is good, just the knee bend and velocity of the pass. I would like to see you really fire that puck a lot harder. A lot more, a lot quicker, and a lot harder. But hand position, everything is very good here, and you use very good technique. Okay, excellent job here. With the knee bend there, you got to that, that puck, it was an errant pass, and you got to it because your knees are in good position, you're in good athletic position. And on your forward stride here, I'd like to see, again, deeper knee bend and better weight transfer, getting right over that driving leg. All right, so your nose has to be over that knee, knee over your toe. But again, you know, not a bad stride. I, can, I still think you can be better getting that, those feet right back and closer to your body. So we're going back to that stick handling now here. See, that's a clip we've seen before, but still very good. Good open hip starts. Very quick there. I like that one. Great job. Again, deeper knee bend, better weight transfer. And I'd like to see it push a little bit harder. Now, you're keeping up with Joe here, and Joe's a really, really good skater. So you're doing a great job, but I still think there's room for improvement to get even better. Good transition. Again, deeper knee bend. This is going to be coming up later in our, um, our forward stride development uh, clips. We're going to see what I'm talking about with the knee bend. You do a better job in the forward stride development clips, which are coming up pretty soon here. Then your crossovers. You want to see you transfer your weight onto your outside edges. Good. Drive those edges through the ice across the back of your heel, not behind your body, but through across, across your body. This is good transition, this nice easy transition drill. You're doing a great job there. Again, deeper knee bend. Get to be more explosive and give you more control on your transition. Eliminate the, the stumbling. Once in a while you stumble, and I think it's just because of the knee bend. Okay, right there. A little bit of a stumble. Knee wasn't bent deep enough. A very good job. Good transition. You're getting moving quickly. I like that. Very good.
The non-stopping flip's got to be a little bit lower. That's not bad right there. Yeah, I'd like to even see it scrape along the ice to help aid in the stopping and also give you more balance. I can see you back on your heels a little bit here. Again, you, that way you can go any direction you want if you're back on your heels. Not bad. Again, this is more transition. Keep closer together there. Feet have to be closer together. Here's that forward stride development. See how the knee bend is much better here. That's it. Good job. Put that left knee. That's excellent. You want to see it get, you want those knees bent in that position in your regular forward stride also. I'm going to stop talking here because a lot of the instruction I want you to, to get is on is already on the video. So I'm going to stop talking here. That's it. Drive. Push. Push. Okay. Stop. Go ahead. That's it. Keep the hands right over the knee. That's it. Left side, you're going a little bit too far beyond again. That's better. That's better. Right there. Good. Much better. Drive hard. Full extension. Flex the knee forward more. That's it. Good. Feet touch every time. That's it. Good. Every time. There you go. Good. Full extension, excellent. Full recovery. Good job, Lauren, that's it. Feet touch, feet touch. That's it. Good. Push hard, hard, drive, drive, hard. Couple more, that's it. Okay, okay, go ahead. All the way, make sure the hands are in line with the knee on the left side, that's it. Hands in line with the knee on the left side. Good, all the way over, full extension. Feet touch together every time. Feet touch, that's it, good. Left side, hands gotta be over that knee. Okay. okay so there's just some stick handling. Um, doing a great job here, Lauren. Pretty good, just working on uh, you know the lateral movement, inside edges. Keeping your head up, you're doing a great job here. So this is just practicing that um, that front fake move. And here you do a really good job on your uh, your rebounds. See a few more of these, getting the puck onto your stick quickly and releasing the puck quickly. This is all really good. Do a great job there, locating the puck and getting it off your stick quickly. Very good job here. These drills will really help you in your uh, goal scoring, especially in front of the net. And here's your crossovers. What I'd like to see here on your crossovers is more push across the back of your glide skate. So, for example, when you're going uh, right to left, like let's look at here. See how the foot slips there? Because you're, you're pushing behind your body instead of through and across your body. want to see you push that foot. Like right here is a great drill for that. Uh, this drill here is an excellent drill to teach you how to push that foot across your body, so across the back of your heel of the glide skate. So look at here, the glide skate is the, is the left, and you're pushing that skate right past the heel of that glide skate. Here's another example of what we're talking about. A real push off of that outside edge. The skate's driving across the back of your heel instead of slipping back behind like straight back towards your, you know, towards your back. We don't want that puck, that skate rather, going back towards your back. We want, we want it to go across your body. This is just the first step of the uh, crossover, the inside push. You do a good job there. And great distance on that, uh, on that push there. Now this is just some edge work. You want to see that knee bend and extend and actually straighten up. That will give you your power. So deep knee bend and straighten as you drive that, the ball of your feet into the ice there when you're going backwards. Do a great job here. Good outside edge control. 
You know, these are just drills I like to see you work on in practice when you do your warm up. That five minute period before practice, you can go right up and down through the neutral zone and work on all these drills. This is you do a great job on this side, inside edge here, straightening the knee, bending the knee, driving that the ball of your feet into the ice. That's really good. You do a great job here. Again, just work on these drills right before practice starts. You can go up and down uh, between the blue line through the neutral zone. There's some more stick handling. I like what you do here off the shot, off the, off the move here. Right here, no stick handle, just a quick shot. I like to see you get that shot off a little bit quicker, but still, you don't have to pull the puck back quite as far here and get that shot off of your front foot. Make it a little bit quicker. I'm going to send you a link um, showing Phil Kessel's 37 goals from last year. I want you to see where he actually shoots that puck from.